Rebecca from Abernathy's. I'm here with my husband Matt and my son Joe and we're camping for the weekend so we thought we'd do a little camper tour of our vintage 1968 holiday vacationer. So, come on let's look at it. So we do kind of the same setup pretty much every time. Um, we, we like to use the outdoor space as much as we can because the inside is kind of small. So um, also not all the utilities work inside so we have a big setup out here. Um, we've got a vintage picnic table that we bring with us, even though there's usually a picnic table wherever we go. This one's cool because it packs up into a suitcase um, and it's nice and small. It's from the 60s. Um, we uh, were fortunate enough that this camper came with its original awning, which is super cool and doesn't happen all the time. It has all these aluminum posts, um, which collapse down. They're two separate pieces and then it has like a little hinge here that uses tension to keep them together as opposed to like telescoping. Um, yeah, the awning's mostly intact. The only thing that we did add uh, this year was Matt ordered these awesome ratchet straps. Everything had to be green, so it matched, so he ordered green ratchet straps. Uh, but they basically just add tension so that the awning stays tight and stays up, hopefully, over the first three days. Um, the other thing we started doing was having um, the, we use these uh, tiki torch posts. Um, as something to ratchet onto and then we also put tiki torches in them and then hopefully it stops us from tripping over them. It didn't help Joe out earlier this weekend, but uh, it's, that's our theory. So, <laughs> um, Vintage camping chairs, these are always my favorite. We have yet to find a set of three that all match. We have all random colors, but one day we'll find three. Uh, this is our newest find. We got this at an estate sale. I, I bought a hammock last year and I got it from Walmart and there's just never been a time where we've camped where we've had two trees that are close enough together to have an actual hammock. So uh, this is cool because it's freestanding and it had this groovy original box. I feel like this looks like uh, Ken, not quite Barbie, but definitely Ken lounging. <laughs> I, when I found this box, I really wanted it to be this floral green one because I thought that would match the camper perfectly. It wasn't. It was an orange one and it has a mouse hole but we'll fix that later. So. <laughs> Covered for now. Don't look good. Um, so yeah, we'll go inside. Uh, before we go inside, the one thing that um, these campers are known for are these badges. They're on all of this uh, campers made by Holiday Rambler. That's like the make, but this is a vacationer. These um, badges are made out of plastic and they're usually pretty hard and brittle. And we are on a Facebook group for our holiday ramblers and vacationers. And there's a guy there who 3D prints them and then sends them to you blank and you paint them. And um, it's an easy and cheap way to replace the badge. So that was one of the first things we did as soon as we got this one. So if you come on inside, it's pretty small, but this is actually a little bit of a bigger upgrade from our last camper. We had another holiday vacationer. Um, this one's got a little bit more room. Um, we've got a utility closet that has like, we keep our awning and all of our outdoor stuff in there. Um, broken mirror, super bad luck. Seems to work for us so far. Uh, <laughs> we've got a bathroom. We are in the process of working on the plumbing. We think that we found out today our pump does work. It's an air compressor water pump. Um, so we just had to replace some lines in there and that should be good to go as well as replace some soggy wood that's in there. Um, one of the best things about this camper is that um, they updated the previous owners who we got to meet a couple of times throughout the experience of buying it, getting it titled and having to go back and have them sign more paperwork. Um, they actually replaced a lot of the appliances in here, um, including the refrigerator, which is super cool because anybody who has a vintage camper, you might realize that your refrigerator runs with propane, which is, if your gas lines aren't perfect, is a total pain in the butt. So um, the fact that it's an electric um, refrigerator is super cool. We just painted it to match everything else and um, it has worked really well. Even when we don't have electricity, we put keep food in here because it still at least retains what cold that your refrigerated groceries will have. So um, got a few cool new things. These are, I want to say a uh, shout out to Lindsay. She is awesome. She is my, my swap soulmate. We, I'm on a swap page and she, um, I sent her stuff. She sends me stuff and she sent me those too and they match the camper perfectly. So uh, we do all of our food and all of our uh, cookware in here. Um, the countertops and the stove are the original color. So those are kind of our inspiration for the color of everything else. Um, Matt picked out the fabric for the cushions and we did those last year. Um, our friend Ellie gave us these, look at these things, they're paper plate holders, they're so cool. Um, and we bought these really cool, it says cats up, 
as opposed to ketchup. So, but vintage Tupperware ketchup and mustard. Um, and then uh, we just recently got the avocado green silverware at a thrift store last year too. Um, so yeah, the one thing that uh, our son Joe loves is that it's got a TV so we can watch movies in here. We can angle it so it's over our big giant Michael Scott flat, flat screen TV comes off the wall. <laughs> Um, that can be angled over to where our dinette. So when on times when we camp and it rains and we're stuck inside, uh, it's nice. Uh, the one thing that I love is behind this cool suitcase is it's got an air conditioner. It has been our savior so many times, um, namely Simcoe uh, in Wisconsin, amazing car show. But there's like no uh, air conditioning anywhere on the ground there. So we were like the one air conditioned camper in a sea of vintage campers. So super grateful for that. Um, also grateful for the bunk bed. Joe loves it. We did just um, modify it. To, there was two cushions up here. We took down one because it was just not enough room for him. And we uninstalled the hook today so he didn't scrape his back when he <laughs> climbed up there. Um, so yeah, the bunk bed's nice because in our previous camper we would fold down the dinette for him every time we go to bed. And sometimes it's late and you're tired and you don't want to. So it's nice just to have a bed you can climb into at the end of the night. Um, and this bed has been really nice. It's also a couch, but we leave it as a bed because it's just better for like how we camp and our way where we live. So um, yeah, that's about it. We got cool vintage curtains and stuff. I sewed those um, and all the fabric and stuff has kind of, kind of come from all over. Um, Odd Betty's and Alito has, she's given us a lot of stuff we've bought from her. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything inside. So yeah, thanks for watching our Vintage Camp Tour. We hope to see you uh, at Vintage Torque Fest. So it's going to be hopefully the next time we use it. So uh, July 3rd, 4th, and 5th, we'll see you there. Thank you, guys. Bye.